I say is this is that what we've got here, we've got an engine here. Come on. We've got an engine here, okay? And uh, the mass is 125 kg. Determine the force in member PD and this hydraulic cylinder H. Zaim, turn off your camera. Sorry? Okay, so if you look at member BD, is that a two-force member? Yes, sir. Okay, if you look at member H, is that a two-force member? No, sir. No, sir. Is H a two-force member? Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. it is. So if I want to draw the free body diagram of this part only, so what I will have, I will have a force acting downward, which is 125 kg. I will have a joint here, that's a force, because that's point E pivoted. And I know the force F here, which is the, uh, uh, the sorry, H, H, uh, H, sorry, H, that's the, hydraulic force. Now, watch, it's relatively very easy. If I take moment at point E, I will divide into two components. Hmm. HY and HX. So let me get rid of this now. I take moment at point E, I can get this out, am I right? Yep, you'll get HY and then you will just find out. And then rest is easy. So I'll, I'll leave it to you how you want to do this. Is that clear? It's relatively easy. Once you get the free board diagram right, rest is easy for you to do. So uh, I will leave this example and there's another example, I guess the last one. Uh, which one is it? Come on. Yes, uh, this one. 